Hey, welcome back to the end of Skyblock, where I have a shirt. I was sweating monsters and got a shirt. Didn't mean to, it just happened. It was we're pretty full on. Uh, we could probably merge some uh, bows, or, or even just get a uh, whole other box or two for bows because we're just stacking up. Um. Meanwhile, uh, otherwise we're kind of in a spot here where. Uh, <clears throat> we have a uh, splashy weakness stuff, which technically kind of cures zombified villagers. We have uh, golden apples for them. We have 32 eggs, by the way, which brings up a point. And we got this, which means I could, uh, you know, die something if I wanted to. And I do want to. I just don't have it yet because here's what I need. Um, uh, we uh, don't have a sheep yet. For one thing, um, I have more eggs. You know, 32, 33, however many, I'm going to kill these because we have, like, enough to guarantee getting them back later. And the less animals we have extant on the map, 34 eggs, the more likely it is. Well, we have a pig, another pig, two cows, and that horse. That's it right now. Excuse me a sec. Um, I'm trying to leave and you people, or cows, or whatever you want. Aren't letting me. Um, yeah, we, we want a sheep to happen to us for one thing. I'm going to throw those. These aren't even going to fit there. Um, so that's that's one thing. we could. I have this. Uh, and that, which is going to come up in a sec. Um, let me actually just give ourselves... It's actually going to limit... Maybe I'll wait. I'll put this away. We can make more, too, if I need to. Uh, if we can get a sheep, any sheep, I can dye it red, park it here, so it eats some of the grass. You know, it won't eat all the grass at once, but uh, the point is it'll uh, keep growing its wool back. And we don't... Well, we do kind of. I mean, I could actually make clippers right now. And they're good for whatever they're good for. It might get us some wool. Enough to get the uh, village up and running, which we don't have. As far as the... Uh, Fence post I just took out of here. We could use a fuel because we occasionally get coal from hitting spookies and we can burn wood, but it just seems stupid. Um, so I think my first priority is to take what I've got here, learn to make something, do this. Uh, we have a hopper and I'm going to move it because it's not that critical for uh, cobblestone. Besides, we have a lot of cobblestone. Uh, in fact, I'm going to grab a bit for something. Um, Grab, I'm just gonna use this stuff. Make a couple of uh, boxes for something here. Perhaps if my mouse listens to me. Um, and what else do I need? Uh, oh, give me, um, okay. Give me a fence post. That would be useful. Give me, I guess, damn it, what the hell? <laughs> uh, give me one of these. Uh, just to uh, do this with it, and the rest could probably be sticks. Um, and then here's the funny part: I went into the Nether and cleverly uh, brought a fishing rod with me, which I had no reason to bring into the Nether, but which I don't have anymore because I got killed. So we're gonna want a fishing rod just to do this next bit, which uh, we should get doing. Uh, how many sticks is that? I have eleven. So we have eight, so I don't know, we'll see. What did you get, an uh, iron? Yeah. Neat. That's something. Where do Give you, me. Where do I put it? Uh, in the main box, in the seed vault box. Okay. All right, so I have a string, which means we have 64 uses at the moment. I have a spider on my wall. Not, yeah. in, the, not in the game, just actually on my in front of me. And well, far beyond the screen. It's, I don't know, it's not big, it's small. Uh... Uh, anyway, so there's that. Mm. It's cool. It's way over there. I can't get to you. It's like social distancing because it's a spider. And it's way over there. So here's what I want to do. Quickly make a fishing rod so I have that. Um, because apparently I don't have that. Uh, make, for that matter, some ladders because I have a thought. Um, so here's what we want to do. Oh, and I need a bucket of water, by the way. Give me this. Give me water. At some point we could talk about making more water happen somewhere because we have those four 
<clears throat> sources, I suppose. We have a fifth uh, in here. I have a sixth one on me, I suppose. Might want to distribute. We might, might, might want to get a big thing that's not at any risk. I guess that's probably safe enough. But anyway, here's what I want to do with this. Um, let's... I, I don't want these animals bumping me. Okay, this is a jungle biome. That's important to note. And we want to be in the jungle biome, not under that, if we can help it. So why don't we uh, think a little about just kind of... Is that jungle too? For all the, okay, that'll work. Wait, I got turned around again. Uh, if we set up... I'll just put this here so I can start elevating something. Um, give me the ladders so I can get up there with this. Because I don't want to be bothered by animals. Um, at least get up. Uh, knowing that, we're just going to throw this down... I'm overcomplicating this. It doesn't have to be... Oh, you know what? That's stupid. Isn't it? I'll figure it out. Uh, give, my, uh, give myself a basic layout. Um, which should be like... Now that I've done that. Huh. That's tricky. Oh, no. It's, it's fine. Okay, so first of all, let me go down here. I'm just going to set... Is that going to work? I honestly don't know. Let me set these down. They won't open right now. Okay. They won't open right now because of reasons. Uh, I think probably if I set the hopper going down into this, that would make sense. If I set this, that thing down, um, nuts. That doesn't actually work. Okay. This, I had a thought, but it's not going to work. I, I want to be elevated, but I don't, I don't want to... It's not a problem. I'll just fix it. Um, put that back, and I'll just assume that's the new ground. Uh, I don't care about the biome. I know where I am. All right, so if I had these now where I can use them correctly, this should be okay. And put this one here, and then have that uh, hopper thing here. Like, oh, I can't. Um, they are going into that. Now, with that accomplished, I th I'm trying to think what level I want things. I'm pretty sure I need to go up one and then have the, uh, that. Which sounds like it'd be about right. No, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. That's wrong. That actually just goes on the hopper. So where is it? now? it's probably in there. Oh, okay, this is just... I don't know how it became complicated, but it's what happened. Uh, give me that, then. Put it on there. Uh, get, really? I thought I could jump on those. Well, maybe not. Oh, uh, that's okay, because I still got to build this out a bit. Um, I need, uh... I need a, uh... Sort of... Containment system for the water. Which... Yeah, that makes sense to me. That actually is wrong. Although then this would be right, so I guess I'll figure it out. Oh, uh, you need to do that. Do, uh... Th that has to... Well, for one thing, it has to contain this thing. By the way, in 116, this doesn't work anymore, so it's only going to be good for, uh... Getting us bamboo right now. Basically. Uh, I think probably that's good if I build this up and give myself a... Something about this is bothering me, though, and I can't figure out what. It seems like this should go the wrong way. I, you know what? Maybe it does. I'll just fix it. I don't know what the hell the issue seems to be. I, I, I don't know. I'll test it. Hang on. If I put water against that fence post now... Oh, it does just go that way. Okay, well, that's what I was counting on, because it hits lower on that side, so it works. Um, that should be if I put another uh, ladder down here so we can get up here. Uh, you know, go down, go up. It's kind of weird, but it works. I could put torches up here if I want to be safe. Um, and what you do is jump in here with fishing rod. Aim at the uh, plate, but so that it'll hit the uh, armor stand also. Throw the thing, it drops, and you can just uh, actually unplug the mouse at this point or whatever. And as long as you're in 115 or early, well, earlier-ish, last couple of versions, this ought to work. 
Mm -hmm. It'll work slowly because it's just a fishing rod. There's no like special stuff on it that uh, makes it work faster than it's working. That's really slow. I know it's, it should work. There's no reason it wouldn't. There we go. What did I get? Oh, a saddle. So, uh, I'm just going to stay. I don't care. Well, you know what? Give me that. Um, don't not do it. Okay. Head over here and uh, talk to this horse for a sec. Am I on the... Have a saddle. Now I can actually maneuver. Oh, this is fast. I didn't expect it to be this fast. Uh, so I'm... Would you leave? Don't touch me. Just get away from me. Leave. I'm trying to make this so that, you know, I can't wait to get some wool so I can just... Don't have to do that. Anyway, that's all set up to be what it is. Um, take a nap, I guess. The, uh... The next thing, then, yeah, we need to get a couple of zombified villagers. I just heard one. I don't know if you killed it or anything. I might as well kill it. It's not doing me any good where it is, but... Uh, yeah, you just killed it. Mm -hmm. It's not tragically important that I just killed it. It's just it, that that's not where we want those to be, because it's kind of difficult to do anything with them if they're in there with all the other monsters. Uh, what we could do, though, is uh, probably stash like this, because I don't need it for anything right now. Uh, we want to build a village that'll contain, ultimately, a couple of zombified villagers and then eventually cured villagers and then we can get to work. We have this to turn one of them into a uh, farmer, which is something. We have two cows, which again we're waiting on, we're trying to get sheep to happen someday. But we can uh, breed the cows however slowly, get you know two become three. <clears throat> uh, basically at that point kill one of them, hope we get leather. I can also fish for leather so it could happen. We're gonna need enough, we're gonna need uh, three books to make a, uh, you know, podium thing, and then we can make a second villager into a librarian who will actually want this stuff, which we can also set up a thing, kind of, to make that happen. Um, yeah, so what we need to do is figure out a village, which I guess I'll just take some of this stuff for now. I don't know how much. Put this bucket back for the moment. I'll probably need it again soon, but... Let's start with, uh, there's a, the biomes in this direction are, uh, this is going to be flower forest in a sec, and then it should be desert next, yeah. Actually, I don't even know if we'll be in, the, it, the point is, if you, I, I would like to build this somewhat in where it doesn't rain, just to kind of guarantee that we don't get, uh. <clears throat> everything wiped out and becoming witches, especially at the beginning, we can kind of lock down uh, where these things are as they're breeding in the first place, and we'll figure that out. So, I guess if we just go down this uh, path, this well, 10 maybe, and if I get to, uh, what is that, 10 by... That's actually not quite what I want. Let's go to 20 by 20. I'll fill all this in with stuff at some point, although... We're going to have to be a little careful about having anywhere that anything can spawn. It doesn't matter if there's torches, really. So we're going to want to put down slabs or buttons or whatever it takes to prevent anything spawning. Um, with that done, let's just go out 40 with to uh, 60 through the swamp, apparently. Torch it, because that's what I'm doing for now. We'll do something better later, maybe. Optimally, I would make this out of, like, glass or something, but... We don't have that. Uh, once we get a librarian, we have a good chance of getting uh, exposing or you know un unlocking them to the point they'll have glass, <clears throat> and we'll be able to buy it and just you know however much per day he has for us, and we just keep going until we have stacks and stacks of glass. At some point, you have boxes full of the stuff. It's just how it is. So, but for now, I just have this to work with. There's sixty, so I'm going this list turn. And uh, get to 60 again. It doesn't really matter that it's 60 by 60, except that it tells me 
where everything is relative to anything else. The very middle of this is going to be 40 by 40. You got a fish. Mm -hmm. Well, when you get bamboo, let me know about that, because that's the whole point of that thing. It can be anywhere, but for now it has to be in there for the bamboo. I figured I could work on bamboo while you're doing it. Yeah, that. good. That's why I did that first. Okay, and then we turn again. And with, once the perimeter is done here, I'm going to kind of just fill the whole thing in with wood. Uh, which, you know, it, just because it's cheap. We have a lot of wood we can use. We have some stored up. Um, you can use slabs or buttons or whatever we want. It's, buttons would be cheaper. It would just look weird. I guess it's a possibility, though. Um, maybe, yeah, it'd be a lot cheaper. Yeah, I don't think we ever got in the desert with this, did we? Turn. Back to 20. And, uh... Yeah, I might try buttons, I guess. I mean, why the hell not? I think it'll work. Did, did I get something wrong at some point? That seems like I was off. That's 45, okay. Uh, so now to 35, and then eventually 20, and I'll be done with this. The reason I don't want spawning, if it's not obvious, is we want iron guys to happen, but we want to really control where they happen. And then where they happen is going to be in the middle, about there. Uh, ultimately, I don't need this anymore. No, the rocks, I'm just going to switch to wood at this point because it is cheaper and it's a lot easier to... You can, if, if everything goes to hell, you can bang on a tree to get free wood. You don't have to uh, have any kind of a tool for it necessarily. Let me have a couple of... Let me have uh, basically all of this is obviously a minimum of what I'm likely to need. Uh, put, just take all this. I want the bucket again for something. I'm going to want one of these... And I may as well bring this along. And then we'll... I need two buckets. Duh. Alright, so we're gonna... This is a little dangerous. I mean, we do... You just got some iron, right? Yeah. So, in, in the absolute worst case, if something somehow happens to me, I can make another bucket and we're back to where we used to be. Put that away for now. Give me some of these. Where are we on? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll fill this in at some point so it's less dangerous for now. I just, as much as I should do it right now, I'm going to do it later. So with, uh, I do need this now. With the uh, perimeter established, we know the middle is going to be, uh, yeah, the desert's over there. It's going to be, uh, 20 by 20. So the first thing we have to think is the way the village, the way I used to do villages, there would, well, this would be a torch, but there would be like a door here. I'd have this here with a door here, because doors were what made villages be a thing. This would be a wall that goes up a meter and a half or so, keeps stuff in, which it's going to be again, kind of. But uh, the point is, this is where the village now begins, because we don't have doors doing it. We have beds, which we don't have, because we don't have sheep. Point is, uh, perimeter, perimeter, wall. Bed goes here and here, you know. Then there's kind of a walking area, a common area, which goes like this. And then there's another bed, which goes here and here. And then here is another wall to uh, uh, keep stuff all along that line. With that done, let me uh, just have one of these. And this is going to be kooky, but it's what I'm going to do. I want to go down one once I have enough water to let me do it. Because this has to be, uh, well, it doesn't have to be. It's going to be a meter lower for reasons. So that goes there. I'm going to get the water back because I'm done having it there. And with that done, the next step is we simply put this down and carefully get there. And just pull back to 20 by 20, or 40 by 40, I mean. Because we know that's where we're going. Uh, once I'm there, I'm going to do that again. Because that's the dead middle. The dead middle is going to have that there, that not there, this not here because I know there's a block under it, and give me some sand, and I guess go ahead and give me a cactus, and we'll just throw that down right now, 
just to get that done. So with that accomplished, we now have all the numbers we need to know, uh, which means I can go here. Um, basic. Well, I could actually build in any. Uh, there's a cactus there, so it's kind of in my way. If we just go this way, keep an eye. This being thirty, we now want to go to. Uh, well, in this direction, we want to go to fifty. Is the point. So we get all this done. Uh, are you fishing still? Yes. Okay. I was going to say, if you want, you could help with this, although, well, no, you, I mean, you could, but I've got all the wood in the world, so maybe it wouldn't be the best plan. Here's another 50. I'm just going to do one at a time to make this faster. I can just fill it in. I managed to catch some leather. Oh, cool. Keep that up. Yeah, we need, like, three of those to make three books to make <clears throat> one podium to make one librarian to make things easier for us. And then we're at 50. What? How big are these books? They take an entire cowhide. Uh, they're, um, they're, uh, uh, what's his name? George Martin. It's a middle. Bad ones. 35, 33, 32. Yeah, Gurm wrote them. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, back to 30 on this one. I'm going to have to run to bed before, because I don't have any lights in here, so that's dangerous. Halfway, and 30, <clears throat> and now halfway because I've got the middle already filled, 39. Uh, let me safely-ish get up here, go that way, try to get home before too much spawns. I do have a bow, so we shouldn't have too many massive, and of course there's a cactus in there, which is just funny. Because that means we can start killing monsters. That do you know how that works? Okay. Sleep. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm going to be building the village a bit inside out and up, not upside down, but just kind of one thing. Before, I can't see the monsters. Uh, there's like a zombie, and he's not going to last very long. Where we have eight minutes. I'm probably not going to get the village fully, literally done, but I can at least get enough done that you'll see what I'm talking about. The rest is a, just a matter of filling stuff in, which is, you know, you don't have to really record doing that. It's not terribly fascinating. But uh, with that done, I kind of want to get this, you know, again, this is the wall, the internal wall. So it's all on the 30 and 50 and, you know, 10 out from there. Which will make more sense in a sec, maybe. And, uh, once there's a floor in there, and there will be in five minutes, we don't want to prevent spawning of necessarily anything, although we are going to prevent a lot of monsters. Which is good, because what we don't really need is a creeper destroying everything I've done. This, I did that <clears throat> that way. This is still the line we want, so that's good news. So with that down, we just, uh, actually, let's just go here and go kind of like this. Um, get more of that. You know, what are you doing? Fishing for bamboo? Oh, that can wait. It doesn't have to be right now. For that matter, if you come over here, we might get a sheep before we're done, so... Okay. Never know. You just put the fishing rod away. Yep. Yeah, the, I mean, it's not irreplaceable. Nothing really is at this point. But... <clears throat> doesn't mean we have to lose it and start over on that. Oh, damn it. I, you know what? That's actually... That goes there. For a sec, we'll get to that point. Oh, nuts. Give me this. Give me that. You take the. Uh, hmm, that's weird. Take that. Break it up. Do what I'm doing somewhere that I'm not doing it. We'll just try to get this figured out somehow at some point. Is, we're just filling this completely in. At some point, we'll break up a few of these out. Uh, eight of them for sure, and then probably a few more. 
and surround the cactus with hoppers so that as iron guys spawn in here and get killed, because they will, the, their stuff will just go into hoppers, but we have to have them to get them to kill them to get the iron in the first place, so it's kind of a process. And we don't even have the villagers yet to spawn them for us, so. Uh, the reason that goes there is because we're going to do that with it. That'll make a little more sense as we go on. Uh, same here. And... Oh, you know, I just totally forgot what I was doing. Do the, it doesn't have to be right now, but it's going to be. Uh, two, one, two, three. Uh, I should have enough wood to at least get this done, and then, you know, whether we fill in the rest, oh, damn it, off camera or whatever. Um, I never did that now. Damn it, I got four left, that's perfect. Um, it, it, the rest is just this, but up there, a meter, and then we'll get it figured out. But this kind of has to be done before the next step, which is to put water in here. And the reason we want water in here is because we want stuff to uh, get pushed into the cactus. And by stuff, I mean iron golems, because they're effectively two meters wide, no matter what is going on. So the water tends to mush them up against the cactus. And you'll see more of this in a sec. Uh, there's going to be a ring of dry wood all around the cactus, one meter wide. Just by the... given the number of... Uh, of uh, meters the water flows, where the water is going to be, it's going to leave a, uh, you know, these three are going to be dry. Uh, and to do that now, we just have this, and probably that, and you, uh, I thought you were going to fill that in. No, no, you were It's fine, it's, so. don't worry about it. Uh, I'm just going to throw this down right there for now. Throw this one down next to it. Pick it up, pick that one up too. I wish I had shoes to let me do this, but just, uh, kinda infinitize this, in the, you know, in the sense that the whole wall is going to be sources. Um, if you, do you still have wood? At all? Yes. Okay, if you want to build up one meter from where you are. Okay. All along that wall. Yep. That'll be beneficial. Because there's going to be an element of, uh, we're going to put water in the corners, but it has to be in a special place and it'll just run out if we do it wrong. So, yeah, this all goes like this. And kind of don't want to leave any, like, dents, you know, where if you miss this, if you put the water down wrong, you get a weird, like that. You don't want that. So, don't do that. It's important to note. I don't know why I'm treating this like a tutorial. That's what I'm doing. And it's all there. So, with that done, I can go over to where you just were and fill in this one at least. And that goes there, and it won't, if I take these out, it won't uh, merge with, if I put water in the corner at that level, it would, in fact, uh, just become a big pool that doesn't have, right now I'm getting pushed all to hell, even if I'm pushing against it. We want that. Uh, put that there, get some water back. Take those out, because, I mean, it could stay there, it doesn't really hurt that much, but I don't want them there, so what the hell. Go throw this one down there, and I think probably just don't even refill the bucket because I want to put them away at some point. So there's no reason to have them full if they won't stack. And with that done, we go get this corner. Like that, which apparently is in a different biome. Because it's really translucent. And then we're done oh, there. It's weird and green. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's green. I, it probably would be a swampy or something. That part's done. We're almost out of time, but right now, yeah, so if an iron guy spawns in here, and one day they will, they'll be pushed toward the cactus. They're too wide to not touch the cactus if the water is pushing them onto the wood, the dry part. We'll replace the wood with hoppers. It collects all their iron and roses and lets us make hoppers. Um, at some point, we'll have a line of hoppers taking the stuff out to where we can actually get to it, but... Um, I don't see any sheep. I think we're not far enough away, apparently. That's okay. Uh, let me put the buckets uh, somewhere. 
Um, the rest is just filling all that in, and we do another wall thing, but over there, where I said it was, we can do that right now, just to illustrate where it goes. It's basically right there. Um, and, uh... Hmm. It's going to take 10 or 15 minutes and possibly more wood than I actually have just to fill all that in, so I'm just not going to bother right now. I'm going to go over here and put the buckets away while I own them before I fall down. Then we'll get this, you know, less precarious of walk to get over to the village at all. And safe in it somehow so we don't have any issues with uh, spawning outside here. But once that's all done, in general... We can work out a, a place to allow monsters to spawn within this thing that will uh, include zombified villagers. Shoot anything that's not a zombified villager, and ultimately we'll get to that. We'll probably just finish this up, and then as soon as we see a zombified villager, that's when we can start recording, maybe, if it works out that way. But that's later. We'll just get, Right now, this is the part that works, is that... That's actually the iron factory, even though there's nothing going on with it at the moment. So we'll get to that. We'll do the village as a layout, at least uh, off camera, and then get moving from there. So let me get home safely, I hope, and uh, cause we've got to be out of time now. No sheep, but if we stay away from here long enough, there should be... Nothing will spawn. Well, yeah, nothing will spawn in there, not even monsters, because there's lights. But animals might spawn here. If it's something I don't want, we can kill it. If it's a sheep, we won't kill it. Uh, we only really need one sheep, although having more than one sheep wouldn't be the worst news. Uh, but we'll find out more later when we can get that done. We'll split for now and get the village built in, filled in. And see you next time when we do something about making it an actual village. So, see you then. Bye.